morning guys and welcome back to Damo Drives, bringing real reviews to real people and answering some of those questions other channels might not talk about. Ever since I saw the Aerial Atom on Top Gear trying to rip the face off of Jeremy Clarkson on the runway, I've put that car on my bucket list of cars I must drive. Now I got a call from my friends down here at HPC Classics and said they've got one in and would I like to drive it? Well, of course I would. Look at the thing, it's an unbelievable piece of artwork. Now interesting as well, about four or five months ago, I got to drive another car that was on my bucket list. That was the TVR Tuscan S. So two cars in the same place that I desperately wanted to drive. And they've actually got something in common. Well, several things. Both are made by small, independent British manufacturers. Both are lightweight, both have a lot of power. They're both good looking and ultimately they will try and kill you if you do not respect them. So what we're going to do in the video, we're going to have a look around the outside of this Atom and appreciate the engineering for what it is and then we'll take it out on the road and see how exciting this car is. I think it's going to be incredible but we'll find out over the course of the video. So let's get started then with this particular car. Now this is the Atom 3, and in fact it's a slightly facelifted model, the 3.5. It hasn't changed much since it was originally conceived back in 1996. It was actually a university project at Coventry, and the lecturer who was keeping an eye on that project at the university is now the manager at Ariel, which is quite a cool thing. But the car itself, as I said, this exoskeleton look hasn't really changed. It's simple. It's, it's designed by function and nothing else. The absolute minimum on this car is being added. There's no fanciness at all. And I love it for that reason. The TVR Tuscan is a beautiful looking car with all its curves and creases. This, on the other hand, you would not say it's good looking for that reason. It's just what it is from an engineering perspective. So let's have a look around the car first of all. Let's have a look in the cabin. That will be the first place. So if we look in here, it's very, well, simple to say the least. We've got carbon seats either side. I think these were an optional extra. Proper racing harnesses there. We've got a Momo steering wheel that actually comes off. This display here, this is new and I think it actually came from the Atom the V8 version. So there's some information on there. We've got just at the top you'll see here, they are your change lights, indicators, start. We have got, I think this is an option as well, you can adjust your brake bias and that's about it from here. Oh, we have got a windscreen just in the loosest sense of being a winter screen either side. But I love the fact you can see everything. You can see all the cables here, oh, six speed manual. And if you look under there, you can, you can see all the steering, turning, the suspension, everything. It's, as I said, it's engineering at its best. You know, the brake cables, just everything is exposed. So if we have a look around the back then, this car weighs around 550 kilos, maybe 600. And it's the engine in here that makes all of the difference. It's got the same two litre engine as you'd find in the Civic Type R. And to make it go a bit quicker, because obviously it's not quick enough, they've got a supercharger. So now this model puts out around 310 brake horsepower, 270 newton meters of torque. Put that all together and you're looking, if you can change gear quick enough, 0 to 60, 2.8 seconds. That is, well, that's fast. I mean, ridiculously fast. There's not many cars out there that will actually perform as well as this. So if we have a look at the engine around the back, so we've got the exhaust here, twin exhaust exits and the engine and that's about it. I love the way it's exposed. You can see everything. It's all 
it's all exposed and you can you can just get to it it's probably actually pretty easy to work on as well so i love that i really really do it's so utilitarian so mechanical now this area here this is where the air intake is so when the supercharger is whining which i've seen on videos it does make a beautiful noise it's sucked in here so you can't really hear anything than a whining supercharger and the rush of air and bees as they enter your face and your mouth suspension wise as well um, this is all inboard and it's adjustable as well so got Burstein suspension headlights are new on here as well been 3.5 I think the previous gen these lights weren't here they were sort of more up here more of a bug-eyed look and there's a crease down the center very subtle down this center section here so that's different but it's not much really from the previous ones it's just subtle changes that have happened over time to make this car better and faster if you could really get much faster but what a car what a bit of British engineering so what we're going to do now, I'm going to try and put some cameras somewhere on this car. It's certainly not going to be easy. Take it out on the roads with Miles, who's the sales director down here at HPC Classics, and see how good this car is. Will it want to try and rip my face off as well? This is going to be an incredible experience. Another car I can tick off of my bucket list. Yeah, let, let's go. I'm really looking forward to this. Taste of wasps? Uh, I prefer bees, but wasps if I have to. Yeah, I suppose bees have got a sweet taste, haven't they? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's sort of uh, the ultimate protein drive. It's quite a healthy car. You get breakfast at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> 
That is most definitely a mental thing. Cool, isn't it? It is. <laughs> well, I'll just get used to it first of all, rather than giving it the beans after two seconds. I want to try and see what it's like if you're going to a business meeting grab some snacks on the way because you're a little That's bit That's a late. good idea, so you're a bit hungry. I didn't get coffee because I think that might be a bit more difficult and I already have enough burns on my body. <laughs> so this is the the ultimate practicality isn't it? Yes. Oh yeah. So so yeah you're a bit you're a bit behind you need to well, this is get the to there. You're hungry aren't if, you? If you had the choice you know to scoot across town and you had your Porsche Cayenne, which is big and slow. Yeah. You would jump in this to get a move on, but you have to have exactly. something to eat. So, what you need to do in a minute, I reckon, is sort of, when there's a straight a bit, just take a bite. Like, I reckon you're hungry. Well, yeah. So we'll we'll slow down. So we're in some traffic, and it's like, oh, you could take another bite now. I reckon it's just well, I want to go for it at full acceleration. So should we wait for the yeah, slow let's here, and then and then we'll see what it's like. I mean, that the brakes are lovely because you just really push on it, and it slows you down. There's no you can feel where everything is. You know exactly what it's doing. The steering is absolutely stunning. Everything the car should be. It's that. It's doable. It's doable. It is doable. Would I'm it? not sure you could drive that fast with a coffee at the same time and a coffee. You might have to wait until you get to the office for the coffee. Well, that's okay. It's, it doesn't feel as intimidating as I thought. I was like nervous and incredibly excited. But I'm not pushing it anywhere near where it can go. It's not as bad as But it is expect. bloody brilliant. The steering is one of the best things. It's just you can feel there's no weight to it at all. No, and every single of action that you don't even see coming yeah. from the steering wheel. You know, you can feel exactly what's happening. I mean, I yeah. did, I've just had another thought as well for efficiency. You could potentially put it all in in one go before you leave. That, that's a good idea. It's, it, it's just... Oh! It's when it gets to about... There! Madness! <laughs> it's like... With a mouth completely full. Yeah. Breathing becomes difficult. Well, you've got, you've got the lovely breakfast meal and protein from the local wildlife. And I don't think we even fed any crumbs to the supercharger, so no. this thing is designed to get you to work on time. So it is a work daily car? I mean, as far as daily drivers go, it's handy because there's not a lot to clean. 
you have. If you drop anything in the footwell, it will find its way back out again. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so if anybody asks for a lift home, they won't ask for a lift home with you. No. So only, you don't have to worry about them. You only once. That. It has so many advantages for the work run. Do we know them? Or are we no. just waving? No, I'm not a little wave. <laughs> I mean, even Posse and I, we're doing 34 mile an hour, having just about a chat, and it's yeah. it's enjoyable at really slow speeds as well it's not as... not that bad. I mean, I've got shorts on, and it's about, yeah. what, 15, 16 degrees out there today. Um, whichever way you like. Uh, I hope you go left. Yeah. I've committed to left now. Left we are. It, that's the one thing, is it? It's like a... It's almost a midlife crisis car where someone wants a bike, a motorbike, but then you have to, if you're into leather, then you're fine, because mm. you have to get your whole leathery thing going on. I don't mind leather for shoes, that's okay. Yeah, um, but you can't wear shorts on a motorbike. No, I mean, you can, it just depends how much you dislike your legs. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? So. Uh. off the rope limiter in second there but yeah. it just gets there so quick it's like whoop, quick i mean you're not going to find anything that's much better than this really uh, i mean the fact they do a v8 version of this scares the bejesus out of me i like the idea i mean you know i like the v8 oh yeah i like the idea of the v8 i haven't driven one i would love to if anyone's got a v8 Let's have a go. Uh, it's mental. I can't. I 400 brake, 500. I can't. It's a, it's a lot of brakes in there. 100. It's got, it's, cause it's got a Sa Sav F sequential box, and that's like a 12 grand upgrade. Bang, bang. There's this bang bang. No, not so, Sav F um, paddle. So it's just bang 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 bang. Wow. That would be amazing. It's sort of the the ultimate atom, but they hardly made any. They were really expensive. Well, I'm not surprised. Trying to put a V8 in almost anything nowadays is relatively expensive. Mm. Let alone a custom built Megatron of two. <laughs> yeah, it comes with a year's supply of uh, special brown trousers Under for that, that one. Yeah. yeah. So the V8 version of this must be the ultimate car for around it oh yeah I just the one I thing I am finding guy. here did you find the throttle is really sent oh it's, it's because it's got a potentiometer right at the top oh okay any minute movement it picks up because so the suspension is it's firm you're not going to get over that so you go over a bump your foot yeah old cars like the old Triumph Spitfires and things like that were very much the same with how the linkage was set up so people would put a secondary or stronger spring on the linkage yeah. to stop that. And you used to have to learn, you lean your foot against the side oh, of the car, okay. or like lock it in the carpet. And therefore your foot doesn't move. Ah. So those old fashioned tricks make a car like this easier to drive. I'm putting my toe over on the right so it's not. That's it, yeah, and it does, it makes a difference. Yeah. Um, a lot of people used to think there was something wrong with their car or their carbs needed a rebuild, but actually it wasn't, it's just their foot. You need a strong leg. You're all good here if you want to if you want to Am I? I pushed past. Yeah, it just about made, made past, <laughs> yeah. Um, Jesus, I don't know what that cyclist must be. There's this howling banshee going past. He probably has a little trail behind him. <laughs> Although if that was me on my bike, I'd be like, yeah. Yeah, uh, go for it. Have it lads. Yeah. There is plenty of space under the seats. You could store things for a journey. Yeah, that's true. Uh, there's a bit of space under the seats, and that keeps the weight low down as well. So they'd obviously thought about, you know, clever bunch of people. Grand touring characteristics. I suppose you'd go for the uh, Nomad, wouldn't you? Which has got more cage and yeah. it's more car-like, sort of. Although it's off-roader. I can only imagine three, 300 brake and an off-road lightweight. With, with the Nomad, you 
have the the other advantage that if there's a traffic jam, for example, you could just go up the curb and disappear off. Yeah, it'd be fine. And, and you know nobody can catch you either. So so that be so it doesn't matter if you career off into a hedge because you go into the hedge through the hedge out the other side out the other side and keep going yeah. you might have to eat some sparrows and uh, things on the way or you, through you might be lucky and maybe go through a bramble bush and get some fruit exfoliation yes yeah oh i have exfoliated so much <laughs> i don't have any eyes <laughs> or ears it's utterly brilliant i would buy one if i had a second you know a second car and a bit of excess money but someone's gonna have an amazing car so they need to come down and drive it that'll probably yeah, sell it even better when we saw out the squeaky seat maybe that's a mouse it comes fitted with a mouse for free yeah. you're gonna have mice if you prefer <laughs> they're, they're ideal for wiring looms um i'm clearing up scraps of food that you've left <laughs> from your breakfast so we're back, so I'll put the contact details down here somewhere to give you a ring. Come down and test drive it, definitely. You'll fall in love. You will buy it. You can't not fall in love if it's what you're looking for. It's fantastic. It's just absolutely epic. So, I hope everyone's enjoyed that. I've no idea if anyone can actually hear anything. I've no idea if my GoPros are there. I enjoyed it until the point at which I thought I was going to end up in a head. Well, that was meant to be the thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah, just in me like that. Yeah, just ah. Yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, give me a thumbs up. You can't give it a thumbs down. What is there not to like about this? Maybe us wearing it down. <laughs> like it. Anyway, guys, hit the subscribe button and notification bell, and you'll get alerted when more videos like this. I'm not sure quite like this come out. Anyway, guys, thanks for yeah, watching. I don't know how we're going to trump this one. We'll try. There's a way. All right. Cheers, guys.